What's up everybody? So today I got a different type of video. So you guys know everything I've done in the car. Uh, this is my daily by the way. But uh, what we are going to do today is making the ride more efficient. So I have air suspension on the car. I've had it on there for almost a year. Now the remote, I put it on the actual vent. So I'll show you here in a second where it's placed. Now it's cool and all and it's pretty accessible. The only problem is that when I'm driving around and it's hot, I mean, this week is over 105 degrees out here. So using that vent for the air lift controller, it doesn't give me any air to me. So I found online a company that sells different types of setups for air lift controllers, and we're gonna try it out. So together we'll figure out how it goes on, how it works, and see if it works or not. So let's get this thing installed, but let me show you what it looks like first. All right, so this is the package here. I went ahead and opened it real quick. So this is from Camberwell. Go ahead and check them out, see what you think. This is not sponsored or anything with this company. I just found it online and said, hey, what the heck, let's try it out. Comes with their business card and apparently you can get a discount on the next order it looks like this is the mount we got receipt We've got skin some alcohol prep now this is actually a case for the controller and of course went with that purple so we'll see what that looks like once we put it on and that is it so let's take a look at how this is supposed to go i think yep this is how it'll attach the remote to so the control is uh magnetically so let's get this guy out of the box here okay so there's some 3m adhesive back here and apparently you can Loosen this up and get some pretty good adjustment on this. Looks like you can go side to side, up and down. So looks like we got some good adjustment. Looks like this will bend depending on what you need it to do. So let me grab the controller. All right, so this is my airlift controller. As you can see, nothing special here. What we're going to do first is we're going to put the skin on there. So I got a carbon fiber skin that will be put on this and hopefully give it a little bit of character. So let's see how this works out to put on. All right. So I got everything set up here, lined up. This guy we're going to put off to the side. This one as well for now. We're going to start with the remote and putting that skin on. So first things first is let's get this cleaned up a little bit here make sure that it's nice and ready to get this skin put on so i'm just going to wipe it down with that microfiber and use one of these pads just to make sure that we are good to go now do this at your own risk I don't know what, if anything, this will do to the warranty of the remote. I assume that nothing, but we want to make sure that we do this without hurting the remote. All right, so looks like this thing is ready to go and clean. Now we're going to take our carbon fiber skin here. If you've ever done this on a phone, it's kind of the same concept. You know, you're putting a skin on it. And let's line this up 
I hope that I get it the first time here. Looks like I'm a little bit off. Let's see. Yeah, I am. So, I lift it back up. Make sure it doesn't tack all the way. Make sure don't rip it. I have a history of messing stuff like this up. If you guys uh, watched any of my other videos doing stuff like this? Let's see here. So we can get this done a second time. Uh, shaky fingers and all. All right, let's start from the middle. So if I can get this to tack back on this guy here. Nice and flat again. Be a little forgiving, but let's see. Let's see how well. You yeah, might have messed it up when pulling it up. But let's see if we can get this done. Start with the middle this time. Let's see if we can line this up. Uh, getting everything off so I messed up. Okay. Looks like I got that done. Gently put it down all the way. Looks like I can come back this way a bit. Allergies are kicking my butt. All right, that's good. We'll bring this top back up here. And just slowly put, start setting it down. Okay. Yeah. Looks like I saved it there. There we go. Now we got a carbon fiber skin on my airlift controller. Now for the next part. So let's get this guy on here this should be super easy i'm assuming now you get it up here and this guy goes down here like that yep looks like that's where the wire goes now the only thing is i think i'm going to put this on in the car because i got to run that cable in there so i mean it's pretty self-explanatory goes in here and now you have it in the case so i'm gonna go pop it in the car and actually i won't pop it in the car yet let's go see where we're gonna put that actual mount let's go check it out all right so let's go check this out and i'll show you kind of what we have there from the passenger seat here so there we go. Normally, see this cable here. This is for the controller. And I'd use, this is just like your typical cell phone clip holder and had it right here. So blocks that vent. And then effectively on the other side, I have my MagSafe vent for my phone. So I need one of the two vents I opted to get that one taken care of. So I'm gonna try to see what the best place for it is and show you how I go about setting this up. All right, so there's a couple spots that I can put this. One would be here, but I don't necessarily like it that low. And I mean, I can position it, you know, to, let me show you kind of mock it up to be like this 
but not really feeling that. So what I think I'm gonna end up doing is actually placing it. Kind of mock this a little bit. Placing it somewhere here like this so I think that I like that you know when I'm shifting in or need to see anything there I can do that so I'm gonna end up putting it there now the task is getting that cable all the way here while hiding it so I'm gonna look to see what panels I can guide it through and be able to get the cable right around here all right so what I'm doing here is that I ran the wire and you see I still have a little bit of slack there I pulled so that way I can get more out of here so I took off that piece there and then you have this one exposed so what I'm gonna do here just to get it to pop off again is flathead it'll come out very easily already got three of them out let me just is our persuasion on this real quick all right sorry so now i got two hands so i'm pulling it up wiggling it it won't break it's got the clips holding it now here is where i'm running that cable through this area here. So pulling the cable all the way through and now we should be good to go. So I'll put everything back, have it all clip in and then show you the final product. All right guys, so it is on. So I'll explain how I did this here. Um, let me actually turn just the lights on here. Give me a second. All right, so this is how I did it, okay? I ran that cable through there, and then of course I cleaned this area. It comes with that 3M dual-sided tape, but before I did that, I played around with the positioning, exactly how I wanted the angle of everything to be. This entire plate back here is magnetic, so it should be okay. And then after I did that, I set it in place, and I did the final, install um you know where i took the tape off and that's it so let's see here all right yeah all right it's gonna kick on and it's gonna air up all right let's go ahead and i angled it so that way i can see it really nice from there but let's get it down to perfect worked out really well sorry about the compressor noise but right now that it airs out I'll turn that off looks really really good I like it um, you know, save that skin. That uh, might be a little imperfection or two, but this is how we do it. You just try it, we go for it. And if it works, it works. Sometimes it doesn't work out the best, but I now can take that thing off and have a vent. So let me know what you guys think of this thing. I know it's not for everybody, but let me know what you think, uh, if you like it, if you don't, comment, like, subscribe, check them out because it's actually pretty legit. I am going to be driving this to a show really soon, so I will let you know how it holds up. Alright guys, see you guys in the next one. Peace.